Hey, boss man, can you get that spare key for me? Yes, sir. Should Is be Vanessa's in the... ready to go? Yeah, Vanessa's ready. She's about to take off. It's in the bottom drawer on the left. All right, here it is. Perfect. All right, thanks. All right, Vanessa, here's the spare key. Thank you for your, your business. And if you ever need anything, you got my number. And there we go. Another car sold. So we're starting the week off strong. And that was our Ford Bronco. The one that we had like custom made out of Ford. They lifted it and then we put like new tires and stuff like that. But we got paid $10,000 for that one. Because that those Ford Broncos, they ain't cheap. And they're hard to find. And they're hard to find one lifted like that. So Vanessa was a great customer. And hopefully everything goes good with her car. All right, boss man, got her sold. That was good. Yeah, nice work. That was a quick and easy sale. Yeah. It's awesome. I don't have any more appointments scheduled for today, but obviously if we have any walk-ins, we're going to have to be on our toes. Yeah, well, we have lots of work to do, so hopefully no one else comes in. Cause well, we hopefully gotta... nobody else comes in, man. We're a car dealership. Why would yeah, you ever say we, that? We aren't really ready for them because we're going to have construction equipment here for the next few hours. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, you were talking about this expansion. Break it down for me. What the heck's going on? All right, so now, obviously, I bought that land recently from you. Thank yeah. you again for uh, that. Thank you for paying overpriced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't got to keep talking about that anyways. So we got to smooth all this out. I want to get this as flat as we can. Obviously, there's a huge hill, so we're going to have to have a slope somewhere. But we can definitely expand out, and then we're going to be building some kind of area for, like, a repair shop and... Hopefully we can even have something for like painting vehicles I was thinking. I know Steve was kind of talking a bit about working here, so that would be great for him. Beyond that, we'll just make some space maybe for your tow yard. Yeah, we're going to have to take out one tree. I was just looking here too. This birch for sure. Uh, Yeah, we'll probably, we can leave this tree because it's next to the light pole. Are we taking out this light pole? We might have to just because this bulge in the mountain, like it's just not needed here. I don't think my chainsaw is going to take it down. Yeah, no, no. Again, we're, we're going to have big equipment. It won't just be handheld tools. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, let's get to work. We're going to have it done by the day, you said? That's what I'm hoping because we need to be staying open as much as we can. So I want you right now to drive down and pick up some of this equipment. We've got a roller. we got a skid steer. There's lots of stuff. So Ten just four. go grab that and come back as fast as you can. All right. Well, let's turn her over here. Come on, big girl. It's been a minute. Come on. She's chugging. There we go. Let's let her warm up just a little bit. I got to play with my radio a bit and kind of go over everything. It's been a second. I've been sleeping in this thing for like the past two weeks, but I really haven't driven it anywhere. We we haven't sold too many cars, but showroom's getting a little empty now. All right. Should be warm and let's head down. We got to pick up skid steer, roller, some other equipment, whatever the heck boss man ordered. Heck yeah. Shifting gears. It's an 18 speed. So we got 18 gears to shift. Well, I took off in six here because we aren't loaded down, but... Heck yeah, man. This thing rolls some coal. All right. We got to swing a little wider than that, Spencer. Jeez, rookie truck driver here. Sorry if I take out the stop sign, everybody. All right. We're good. We just got a little curb rash there. All right. Perfect. Let's see what he's got here. Yep. Looks like he's got the stump grinder. Should be able to fit both these easily on there. If we need to make room, I can always put the stump grinder on the uh, step up deck and then fit both these on here. But I don't think we'll need the room. And there we go. Looks good. Get her loaded up here over the three axles. Oh, it's dipping a little bit. I didn't think I was off that much. And that should work like a glove. And the ramps folded up and we're going to throw some straps down and we're off. We got some more weight back there. That's for sure. Here we go. Come on. Lots of traffic here. Good on the left. There we go. Nice. All right. One more turn and, and we only have one left till we get to the dealership. There we go. That looks awesome. Let me know what you guys think of the TLX. 9,000. We're passing cars and we're fully loaded down. Just rolling coal here. All right. Here's the engine brake. Not even in the brake. She's using the engine brake. All right. Pulling out in front of somebody. I really wonder what boss man was doing when we were gone. I mean, we were gone for a solid 30 minutes. All right. All the equipment's here. What have you done? What have I done? You see that big pole that used to be here? Oh, jeez. Okay. Actually, that is, uh, how did you get it down? Man, I called over my friend Timothy, and he helped me get that thing gone. He has uh, a big, like, crane. Old Timothy. Yeah, I was going to say, you, oh, could yeah. see, you could use tow mater if you need. You could use the fire truck with the ladder. Honestly, I had that thought, but I didn't want to use it without getting your permission first. That's so. right. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. There you go. Oh, get by the way, uh, another high schooler kid is going to come to rent your uh, rent your Chevy here for prom. Are you kidding me? Why? Why? Uh, like, It's good money. They, I, I, try, I upped the, up the rate. 2000 a night so i get half that yep all right and there we go oh by the way boss man where's my money for the parking garage it's been a couple days 
He's got the money. Let me see the money. All right. Show me go. the money, boss man. Here is seven hundred dollars. That's what I like man, to see. Remember, like one of the first few days we were open, what we were making like two hundred bucks each. Yeah. Now we're making way more than that. Now we got that passive income or whatever people call it, but we have some income that then we can start expanding, start doing crazy stuff like this and make even more. Yeah, man, it's going to be great. Eventually, hopefully you can even buy another tow truck. That's right. Yeah. After we do this expansion and maybe you get a tow truck like shop, or we're going to create, can I use the shop area for my tow truck business in the short term? Yeah, I'm thinking we'll kind of like expand out and make a little section for you. It won't be okay. huge, but it, it will work in the meantime. And if you need yeah, more space, meantime. you know, we can, we can always figure that out. Exactly. All right. Pull your chainsaw out, big, big hoss. We got to get to work here. All right, took it out of my pocket. Yeah, I always keep mine in there. Sometimes it gets too big, leaks oil, but otherwise it's not too bad. Timber! Here we go. She's coming and down. It's, a, it's okay if these knock up the fence or anything because, like, we're, like, the house is fence because this is all going to be removed. Hey, today. I built that with my bare hands. Well, you paid someone to build it, but yeah, we'll, we'll I want to knock out the house and everything. All right, fair, fair enough. He's taking down my house. Okay, you, yeah, you paid for it and you overpaid for it just to take it down. That's kind of funny, but yep. Yeah. Anyway, let's climb up here. Let's get these stumps going. And there we go. We're chomping away. We got three stumps stake out, maybe four. We'll get the roller. We got excavators coming. Oh, he, okay. A lot more than four. He's taking down trees way back there. Well, we'll be busy today. I think it's roller time. Boss man, I did all the tree work. Where the heck? Oh, geez. You already took out the fence. Yep. The fence is gone. I just left this one little piece because I, I kind of just like it. I don't know. Maybe we can like, I forgot the mower was there. up here. Yeah, yeah, that is up here. So what piece go, do you like? It's this little piece back here. What like maybe piece? we'll make some like memorial for the house that used to be here. Oh, the fence. Oh you, yeah. I think you're just saying you can't. Get, you you probably just can't get that out. That post looks pretty strong. Okay, may, maybe that's true. Well, okay, it's in the cement. Like, how did they even do this? I built it. My bare no, hands. You paid, you paid someone to build it. I'm gonna have to call Steve or something to get rid of that one. All right, I'm gonna drive this back to the shop so we don't run her over. Oops, there's a log. And when you come back up, grab that roller. We'll do, big cat. I'm not driving down the road with that. Some crazy guy like honked his horn and like threw his hand out the window like I wasn't supposed to be on the road and I was halfway on the shoulder. Some people, I can't believe, wait, where's the house? Man, I got rid of it. Got rid of it. it. And all that's left yeah. is the segue? Yeah. Yeah, you, I, I knew you forgot this thing here. You told me like, no, I got everything. No, you didn't. Well, there it can. Uh, it's still mine, though. I was going to say it could be yours, but. Uh, OK, it, what if we share it? Yeah, it'll just be the shop segue. OK, that sounds good. All right, let's get plotting this stuff out and yeah, let's get her done. All right, whatever you do, boss man, do not go in front of the roller. That is the number one rule. I won't go in front. No worries. You ever seen the movie Austin Powers? Of course I have. Yeah, you don't want to end up like him. All right. Here we go. We're flattening her down. Jeez, this there thing weighs a million pounds. I'm flattening down rock. Yeah, I don't know how you're able to do this, but good work. There we go. Just like this, guys. Heck yeah, we're going to go all the way back there, and then the shop will be somewhere up in front of us. Well, guys, we got it built. I'll show you the outside in the second. We're pulling in the roller. It's got an oil leak. We're going to try and fix it here. All right, pull her in. Boss man, dude, you just smoked the pile on. Oh, no. You bent it. I just built that. Um, yeah. Look at that it. It's crooked. What were you doing? Straight. I was just opening the door. I I didn't realize how like wide this thing was. And all right, pull that thing in. We got a leaking tire and leaking oil. Okay, here we go. I'll try not to hit the building. Well, guys, this is our new building, our automotive center. We're going to have a full service and auto repair in there. We even have like a little waiting lounge, but mostly everybody will be in the dealership. The reason why we're building this is people can bring their cars in. We can work on them, service them, do the warranty. Then when they're waiting, they can come into the showroom and we can do some sales with them. And we're going to have Steve here so we can build our own cars, work on them, do lifts, all this stuff like that. Yeah, man, this thing turned out great. And obviously this is just the start, right? When, once you're making some more money from all this, then we'll definitely expand out further and i want to fill this whole extra space that we made heck yeah this is what we built if you guys remember before the fence went right here so we have all this room to like create my tow truck business to do more in the future but like let us know in the comments what you think we should do and boss man you gotta drive a little better if we're gonna keep building all these buildings let's make sure to always put these little pylons here otherwise you would have took out the corner yeah it, it worked well though like it, it did stop me even with all that weight yeah it did the job but i, I might 
Yeah, heck, we're going to leave it bent. That way I can always remind you of it. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. But yeah, so here, man, you can start parking stuff around here when you do tow jobs in the meantime. And okay. hopefully we can maybe get some more concrete built out in the near future as well. So it's going to look a bit more professional. Yeah, right now, just grass, maybe bring in rock. That's right, concrete. But step by step, we're going to build it out. Once again, guys, let me know in the comments what you want to see. And a quick reminder, we got the maze down that way that i think this weekend boss man and i are gonna have a bunch of people come in and we're gonna test out the may so link in the description to the spencer tv discord if you play on pc you can play with us all right big cat tomorrow morning got an appointment big customer looking for another ferrari all right well betty get some beauty sleep then that's I'll see right you tomorrow all right talk to you later boss man see you well guys thanks for watching i'm gonna grab my keys head out and i'll see you all in the next one Peace.